Nataka kujua sasa mnataka nini? Wanasema hata opportunities ambazo tuko nazo kwa sababu tunalima mimi mwenyewe ninalima hapa na pale kidogo kidogo tu. Uh, zile products ambazo wako nazo kwa zile miradi zitakuwa zinaendelea wanataka pia kupata nafasi ya kuuza vitu vyao kwenye hiyo miradi Aa, na kwa hiyo wanasema wako tayari kabisa sasa jambo tu ambalo ni la kuomba hili ni kwamba sisi kwa bahati nzuri mheshimiwa rais tunawazungumzia kwa lugha yao lugha ambayo wanaelewa kabisa kutoka ya hili ya kiembu okay. so na kwa sababu governor alishawaambia kwamba kavinda negaka Hmm. Yaani huu ndio wakati. So wanaomba kama sisi tukiweza kupata information zaidi tueleweshwe tu sisi pia tuwaeleze tu pole pole mheshimiwa rais. Tuaeleweshe mpaka tuelewe sisi wote. Alafu tuendelee kabisa. Asante sana. Thank you so much sir. Uh, tell us madam from your organization how are you participating into this space and what do you think about it? Thank you. Uh, your Excellencies and all the dignitaries, good morning. My name is Isabella Tenai. I work at E4 Impact. E4 Impact stands for Entrepreneurship for Impact. At E4 Impact, we work with the SMEs to ensure that we are able to support them to build enterprises that are addressing the challenges that we are facing. So, to Maneno ya Manyumba, is on your opportunities. How are we contributing? How are the SMEs being built? How are we contributing to the national government agenda? So tunafanya kazi na watu wa biashara. We have entrepreneurs who are tumia waste to make um, affordable construction material. Those are youth who are being created uh, and micro enterprises that are being supported across the ecosystem. So we are all contributing and seeing how do we work together with the, the government, the SMEs, and create an environment that can allow these young enterprises to also come up. Asante sana. Labda tufanye closing remarks tuanze na mdosi wetu Kadere hapo. E, tukimalizia ukiad value history of affordable housing. Maneno mingi zimesemwa. Maneno yako ya mwisho sana. Maneno yangu ya mwisho nafikiri e, ile kitu watu wanafaa kuambiwa ni ukweli. Tufike ule mtu ako mashinani. Watu waelezwe wapate kuelewa hii maneno hizi nyumba ni za ukweli na pia ningeomba watu wa media sasa ile mnafanya documentary wacha kuleta economist wacha kuleta watu wadosi mtu ambaye anaweza yes. afford mortgage leta pia na wale watu wanaishi pale kwa slums ndio watu wa ndio watu waelewe maisha ya slums ni nini na ile maneno president ameona ndio anze kujenga hizi nyumba la mwisho wa Kenya wale tumeongea nao hookers sisi ma drivers tuko na nyumba kadhaa pale park road tulipata wale tumeongea nao mahoka pole pole tukua pale tu kwa terminus wamekubali na ile nilikuwa nataka kusema ni kwamba wale watu wengi wanapinga hizi hiyo housing levy yes. ni wale watu ambao ni, wamejenga nyumba zao na wamekuwa wakinyanyaza hawa watu ambao hawana hawana hali haya ni mahasalas na wataki kukosa clients kwa sababu serikali ikijenga nyumba kila pahali nyumba bei ya nyumba itashuka chini yes. kwa hivyo ni wana biashara tuangalie maneno na tunataka tufike pale mashinani Yo tundio tasema asante. asante sana asante sana eh dosi your final remarks uh, kama mafundi wanawake tumepitia challenges mingi sana tukiwa site kwa sababu ukifika pale unadunishwa unaonekana ni kama huwezi at the end of the day unakosa kazi na wewe kama mwanamke unataka kujiendeleza unataka ku Kuji, 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 kujiendeleza hata kama ni affordable housing wewe pia upate moja lakini kama umeenda pale na unanyanyaswa upati nafasi ya kufa, kufanya kazi hakuna vile utasave kwa hivyo kupitia hii mradi mnaweza tusaidia